Hello again, I've got some Sony 74 mini, mini discs to open. Uh, they all I think are different, but this is the one I'm going to be opening today. It's a, an 8 pack with a storage case. And I've got to see if I can figure out whether these discs in here are the same as any of the ones I've already got. So I'm going to clear a bit of space and we'll get started. So let's have a quick look at the box before I destroy the packaging. Basically we've got a plastic box with a paper wrap and then a plastic wrapper around the edge of that. So there's the back in I think French, French and English. So you can pause the video and watch the read that if you want. Lifetime warranty, that's a bit weird because if one of these failed now they wouldn't be able to replace it because they don't make this type of mini disc anymore. There's a product code for that. So let's open it up and see what's inside. There's no obvious route in, I don't think. So I'm just going to use craft knife. I'll slide out from there. Let's try that. Oh no, it's a little bit of sellotape there holding it on. I think this might have been stored in a loft or somewhere because it wasn't, it's a little bit grubby. I'll have to clean some, you see that there, I think it might have been stored in a loft somewhere. Which is a shame. I think that's actually off of the inside of that, look at that. Mould. So, unfortunately it's a bit mouldy this one. The seller wasn't to know that really. So I'll be able to clean that off at some point. So there we go. This, um, Smoked case. These get really brittle, so I'm going to be careful. Got a bit of packaging there. And here we have. So the case, it's got Sony on the front. This one opens that way. I've got some 10 or 20, no, I've got some 20 disc cases, and they, um, they're hard to get the mini disc out in this direction because it catches on the lid. They're used, not very good. No, unremarkable. Anything on the bottom? No. A couple of reference numbers. That's made from ABS. That must be a part number, perhaps. Nice solid click. But hard to get open again. So let's have a look. We have emerald green, ruby red, topaz yellow. Onyx Black, Sapphire Blue, and another Emerald Green, he says, dropping it. Another Ruby Red, and another Topaz Yellow. So oddly, it's a 10 disc box, and it came with eight discs inside it. So let's have a look at this green one, the Emerald Green. That's one I've had, had for a while. Oh, they do look the same, don't they? Now what I have... yeah... Oh, they're not the same. Look, they've got different product codes. So I wonder what the difference is there. Slightly different um, text placement on the back. So, anything on there to give us a clue? Not really. There's the numbers. I've noticed the Sony discs typically have numbers there. 
they're different as well. I wonder if they relate to that. No. So let's just make sure I've got the right one here. So that's the 86, that's the 86, that's the 58. So they're not the same ones. That one I don't think we're going to be able to see either. So that I'll be opening another time. And these ones are clearly different, different anyway. So that's... Oh, look at that, that's weird. I've noticed this on the Sony um, Premium disc I opened on a previous video. The product code for those, diff those uh, Premium discs was the same even though they're in different packaging and they had different discs inside. Now that is clearly different packaging but it's the same product code, which makes it a bit difficult to identify what's what with these. So I'm gonna wait until I can get some more of these so I can keep um, unwrap one and keep the other. Um, although I've got a red one there, I want the same colors. So that one goes there, I think. So let's just make sure I'm getting this round right. That's the 86, that's the 86. So that's the green, that's the black, different product code. Otherwise the same. There's the blue. There's the yellow. And there's the red. So I've seen one of these opened on YouTube, a yellow one. And I've got a couple of green ones I like. The blue one's quite nice, but I've got another blue one arriving from uh, eBay for a different manufacturer, which I want to open, but I haven't got any red ones I'm using at the moment. So I'm going to open a red one and see what that's like. So, So they're touting their famous shock absorbing mechanism, which is weird because if you look at another disc, let me get one. So these, this one's a premium one. This one is the one I'm gonna open, not premium. That one shows that part as being the shock absorbing mechanism. This part doesn't have that extra part on it, but it does say a special coating reduces vibrations carried over from mini disc hardware. I can't see how that will make any difference at all to the reading and writing on these discs because they'll have error correction on them anyway. So I think that's just a marketing term. Okay, let's get on with opening it up. Typical inlay card, not very exciting. There is in the box, the same box as the um, gold premium one and the uh, blue cover premium one, by the looks of it. I think that's a metal shutter there. I quite like that one. There's a reference on the back. Yeah, so I like that one, a nice color. Now what I'm gonna do, actually, is put that to one side and open a green one as well. And probably the yellow afterwards. Let's have a look.
few scratches on it made from the manufacturing process. I've noticed that on other brand new discs that haven't been touched. They've already got scratches on them. Now, same number on the back. Okay, so let's open the topaz yellow one. And that's yellow, but I would have said that's orange. Oh, quite a nice disc. Not very exciting. So there we have it. That's three of the five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the other two wrapped until I can get some replacements or some duplicates from eBay that are unwrapped because I like to have one that's wrapped and one that's unwrapped. I'm a little bit more confused now. Um, these ones are the two we looked at earlier on. This is the one that I opened. And you can see there they have the same model number, but different product codes. This is the other one, different design. But it has the same product code as that one, but a different product number. That one is EN and this one is AN. So I really don't know what Sony are up to with this. Um, if you can figure it out, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Hello again, I've got some Sony 74 minute video uh, 